what is up everybody welcome back to the channel you guys on today's video i'm gonna i'm gonna simply be taking you through a facebook business manager setup tutorial holy shit that's a long one um I'm going to take you straight through a tutorial, you guys, how to set the damn thing up from A to Z and really, really explain over these next few minutes the biggest differences and, and why you want a business manager. OK, so for any of you out there that, that are that are running Facebook ads, running Instagram ads, a lot of times on the business page, you'll you'll post something on your Facebook business page and, and then you'll see the little boost, the little button there right on your end. Facebook will, will try to, you know, persuade you or, 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 or try to entice you to run an ad and boost a post. Right. A lot, a lot, a lot of a lot of clients I speak to, a lot of small business owners that I speak to try doing that. They'll boost a post here and there and, 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 and think they're advertising. Right. You don't want to do that. You want to be running your ads through your ads manager, a.k.a. your business manager. Now, by default. Everyone has an ads manager, right? You have a Facebook personal profile. You have a Facebook business page. By default, you have an ads manager. And you can run ads through the ads manager, but the ads manager doesn't give you all the functions, all the functionality, all the, all the buttons, all the options, all the settings, all the features that you get through the business manager. Meaning you're not able to set up custom audiences. You can't put your pixel on anything. You can't customize your domain. You can't... Um, you can't integrate your 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 Instagram account to your Facebook account through the ad through the, if you're running ads right. Um, so many many and and the reporting is a little different as well when you're reading the metrics, running it through the business ma business manager versus the ads manager, right? So if you're for sure delegating this, or even if you're yeah, if you're doing it yourself, that's one thing, right? I'm going to show you here. We're gonna, we're going to go step by step. I'm going to show you how to set it up. But also, if you're delegating it to other businesses, if you're if you're if you're hiring a social media guy, if you're hiring a, an agency, right, to run Facebook ads for you, you have to have your business manager set up, right? So shout out to my my client Alex, a top producer, a kick ass real estate agent in, in the state of Texas, really crushing it and and fired up for 2022 running ads scaling her business on social media, getting more into Facebook advertising and Instagram advertising. That's what I'm going, to, I'm going to be helping her with this year, right? So in this case today, I she asked me, she said, hey, David, can you set up my business manager? I'm like, sure, let me let me set it up. Let me let me teach you through it as well. And I just thought I'd share it with you guys over here, uh, my YouTube family as well. So shout out to you guys, 2022, happy new year. Um, this is how you do the damn thing and, and get the business manager um, set up. So Again, this is really for, for those of you that are that are looking to scale your ads, meaning looking to, to stay consistent this year, right? 2022 and beyond, you're looking to really stay consistent and dive in with Facebook advertising and Instagram advertising. You for sure, for sure, for sure want to set up your business manager. Okay, so little, so here's how we do it. So let me let me get into it. Um, as we come over here to your Facebook page, right? You can, you can, you can start from your page. You can, you could start from your business page, whatever. All we're looking for is this little home button at the top, right? So if we click on that home, it's going to bring you over here to the news feed. And then, and then on the left-hand side, you're going to see ads manager. So again, by default, everyone has an ads manager. So as you click on ads manager, that's going to bring you straight over here. Right. So this is what's connected to your personal profile. It's what it's what's connected to your business page. You can for sure run ads out of here. But again, you just don't get all the settings. You, you don't get all the features. You don't get the, the, the ability to put your pixel on anything. You don't get any of the tracking functions that, that, that you need to know and that you need to implement to, to be successful with your ads, right? Facebook ads, Instagram ads, right? This is where all the magic happens in the ads manager. But what we wanna do is we wanna take it up a step further, right? We wanna take it a step further and we wanna create a business manager. So we do have all those functions, right? Cause we're gonna need it. We're gonna need a pixel for our landing page. We're going to need a, to customize our domain of those landing pages, right? So we can integrate it with Facebook and create custom audiences and we can create custom conversions, right? So those are the, 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 the advantages of a business manager. We can do all that. And that's the most important when it comes to um, tracking your Facebook ads and your ROI. So over here, as we come over here, right? All we want to do is click on the three lines and go to, go to business settings. And this is how you know that you do not have a business manager set up because as you click on business settings, let's see where it, where it takes me. So it's taking me straight over here, right? So as you see this screen right here, we already know we don't have a business manager. So it's, it's this simple. All we're gonna do is click on this blue button right here to the right, create account. And this is where we simply put down our business name. Now you can always change this. You can edit this. You can always, you can always change it, but um, 
And that's what I'm going to do right here. I'm going to just simply, I'm going to just simply leave that name, but then I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to name this um, Alex Realtor. And then, and then, and then Alex can always go in and change it. So this should be an email that you use to conduct business. We'll send an email to verify it. So let's see if I can, if I can get through it without that. Yeah. Okay. So let me, let me put this in really quick. I'll be right back. Okay, so once you once you um, simply verify that email, right? You put your email in, you check Facebook right away, you verify that email. Super, super important. Then it's going to bring you to 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 the new the new suite. Which let me just confirm this. Allow access. Okay, so go ahead and confirm this. So as I'm coming in here, you guys definitely want to confirm all of this. You can put your password in there, which which I'll do that part later. Um, but yeah, if you have your Instagram account, make sure everything is, gets connected there. Okay, so by default, by default, this is where this is where they end up bringing you. Now, where you want to be, in my professional opinion, you want to be you want to be back in the in the in the ads manager. I'm going to show you today's tutorial, 2022. This is how people are still crushing it through the business manager. This is the new business suite, um, and you can see certain stats here. But as we go back. To the to the personal page, and we click on we click on the home at the top, and we go back to the news feed, right? So, let me pull this back over here, and over here on the left, again, we're gonna see ads manager. Now, here's what we want to do: we want to go back into the ads manager. We want to go back into the ads manager, and now on the top left, the top left, we're gonna see the three lines. So, I'm gonna close out that other Facebook business suite. I'm gonna close that out. I'm going to come over here back to the ads manager. I'm going to click on the three lines and I'm going to go to business settings. Now it's going to bring me into a whole nother page, right? Which I didn't have before, right? I didn't have it with my, with my ads manager. So now look, now I come here. This is your business manager. So boom, I just set this up right to the top left, Alex Realtor. Now you can always change that. And I'm going to show you, you can always change that and I'll show you where to change that. But, um, that's the name of the business manager. So now as I hit this, this drop down, now I hit this drop down, we got the business account and then we have the personal account, right? So again, the personal account is simply the ads manager by default that is tied to the personal page, to you, to your business page, to you, to one account. That's one account, that's you. Now we have a business manager. And again, in the business manager, we now have the ability, we now have the ability to add different ad accounts. So let's say, for example, I wanna run, an, I wanna run ads for, one business, and then I want to run ads for a different business. I can separate those accounts, those credit cards, and 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 those that ad spent, and I can have it charged on multiple accounts. I can create multiple ad accounts. Um, there's my Instagram account. There's where I want to connect my Instagram account. The data sources now, boom. There's my pixel, right? There's my pixel. So as I go in and create landing pages, which is, which is what you guys want to do. You guys want to for sure create landing pages, okay? As you go into 2022 and, and you're marketing online, stop sending traffic to your pretty website. Your pretty website's not going to do it for you in 2022. You got to be taking people to a landing page. So whatever your offer is, you own a restaurant, you 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 you, you own a restaurant, start running ads to your local area on a free download. Hey, click here to download my to download your free hamburger. One free hamburger on us. At, Click now to download, right? You start running ads to get people to download something for free. You're an insurance broker. Okay, run ads to get people a free download on insurance and what it takes to purchase and the pros and cons. You're a real estate agent. Okay, great. Run ads and give away a free PDF of, of a buyer's guide and teach people in five pages on a PDF what it takes to buy, right? Simple, like this is our bait, right? So so as you start to put out ads, as you start to make them enticing, as you get, as you get people to download free offers from you, a coupon, access to a webinar, um, access to a, a, a PDF download, a free buyer's guide, a free seller's guide. That's going to happen from a landing page. Okay. So a landing page, simple web page. Here's an example for real estate. Like if I, if I was on, if I was on Facebook, if I was on Facebook and I'm just kind of scrolling through Facebook, you know, scrolling through Facebook and let's say I'm running an ad for, I don't know, for, for, for a property. Let's say I have an open house coming up this weekend. Um, and, and, and I'm running some, and, and I'm running a Facebook ad. I'm running a Facebook ad and my whole objective is to capture leads. Let's get some people to this open house this weekend. Let's capture some leads. Um, let's get some name and emails. Um, let's get people to schedule appointments. Let's get people to schedule private showings. That all can happen from a simple 
page, a simple web page, a simple landing page. So for example, as an individual is on the newsfeed, right? They're scrolling through the newsfeed on their computer, on their cell phone, whatever. And they're just scrolling through, scrolling through. And then all of a sudden we come across a sponsored ad. When that sponsored ad is, is, is here in the newsfeed and I click, I'm coming straight to a basic page like this. It's not my website. There's not a million things to click on. In fact, there's only one and it's a yellow button, right? Simple page. This could be an open house. This could be a listing page, right? I'm, I'm, I'm promoting a listing. I'm running a Facebook ad. They see the ad, they click, they come straight to this one page. This is a landing page. So now, and, and so this is what you guys want to be doing, man. No matter what the hell, whatever business, real estate, whatever, if you're trying to drive traffic online, you're trying to build a brand online, um, any type of personal brand, any type of any type of business, you're driving them to a landing page. So I've been using Kartra since 2018. I use it for my landing pages, for my email automation. I use it for my online calendar. I use it for my digital courses. I use it to host videos. I use it for affiliate marketing. Um, 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 and that's pretty much and that's pretty much all I use it for. Um, and then I also use it to package up funnels and give them to clients. So that's why I have a lot of these pages already done. You know, that's a listing. This other one is a seller guide. So anyone that jumps on Kartra with me, I have, if you're in the real estate space, I have these funnels that I just give you, right? So, so there's a link in the description, profitwithkartra.online. Activate a 14-day trial. I'll email you right away with all my contact information. We'll jump on a call. I'll literally take you by the hand and help you get off to a fast start. We'll transfer some funnels to your account for free and, and I'll help you crush it because this is how we capture leads, right? Driving traffic to a simple page like this where I'm giving away something of value upfront for free in exchange for that person's name and number, right? So that's how you capture leads, man. And, and, and that link at the top, that link at the top, if you're running ads, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, that link at the top has to be yours, your, your, your custom domain. And that's what you now integrate inside of Facebook. So inside of Facebook in the business manager, that's another advantage. Another benefit is that now over here, you can connect your domain. Okay, super powerful, super, super important. This is how Facebook starts tracking what's going on with your links. It starts tracking who's landing on your links, who's landing on specific links, right? It could be alexrealtor.com forward slash buyer guide, alexrealtor.com forward slash seller guide, alexrealtor.com forward slash open house 777 Blue Ivy Road. These links need to be tracked. And so in Facebook, it's very, very basic, very, very simple. Um, you integrate your domain and you start creating custom audiences around every specific domain, right? So I have a ton of videos, you guys. So if you're new to my channel, subscribe. My name is David. I'm out here in San Diego, been building a social media agency since 2017 and really just documenting what I do, social media marketing, Facebook advertising, landing pages. And so, yeah, Kartra just happens to be a great one that I've been on forever. Um, and I run my entire online business. So this is what you want to be doing with Facebook is, is integrating that domain and then for sure integrating it through, through, your, through your software provider, through, through in this case, it's Kartra. Um, and then, and then I have a whole video for that. So in fact, I'll link that at the bottom, how to connect the domain, but that's what you want to do for sure. And then over here, over here in the business info, this is where I can change out Alex Realtor. So if I want to change out that name, I can, I can for sure change out that name. What I want to do right here is I want to make sure that the business page is um, connected. So I want to make sure that this page is connected to the, to the primary page, which let me pull that one up. Um, 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 um. Yeah, we'll use, we'll use, we'll use this one. We'll use this one. Okay. Here's the million dollar question. The million dollar question is, okay, we're running an ad. What is the most important page that we're trying to get them to? So there's the ad. What is their number one, number one, number one objective? Is it to get me to stop and read it? Is, to, is it to get me to 
comment? Is it to get me to share it, right? Is it to get me to click? So I'm going to book now or I'm going to learn more. That one says book now. Let's see if we can find a, a different call to action button. Um, here's here's Curbio. There's get offer, right? That's a get offer. Let's see if we can find another one. Um, here's a better help sponsored ad. This is a learn more, right? So, so, so again, the million dollar question is what is your number one objective? What is the most important objective? What are you trying to get that person to do? If I, if I, which I am, I'm asking you guys, but if I just, you know, ask somebody, you know, one-on-one -on -one and I said, Hey man, what, what's the most important page? Nine out of 10 times that person would say, well, David it's to get them to click. Okay. So you're telling me the most important page to get people to is this one. The most important thing to get someone to do is click. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I would, I, I, I would disagree. I would disagree. I would disagree. That's not the most important page that I'm trying to get people to. The most important page I'm trying to get them to is the next page. Is what page do they land on after they have just completed the action? So showing you this real estate one, for example, let's say I'm running an ad on a listing, right? Let's say I'm running an ad on an open house. Let's say this is, boom, there's my listing right there. Right. Or, or, or let's just say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let, let's go with, let's go with the listing example. Cause I have, I have a listing page here. Okay. Let's go back. There's my listing. There's my listing. I'm running a Facebook ad. I'm running an Instagram ad. There's the text. They're sponsored. There's the image of the listing. They click, they come straight to this one page. So if you're telling me the most important objective, the most important thing that we're trying to get them to do is click. Here's what I'm saying. The most important, most important objective, number one, the only reason why I'm running the damn ad is to not just get them to click, but to get them to click, opt in, and land, and specifically land on this next page. That's the second page. That's what we call a thank you page. It's what we call a confirmation page. It's a page that that an that a lead lands on after they 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 completed the action, right? And the action was to opt in. So that could have been an opt in for a free coffee. That could have been an opt in for a free seller guide. That could have been an opt in for a free listing um, um, information on, on a listing if you're into real estate. That could have been an, an opt in to download your free health insurance guide. Seven seven things to avoid before you get your life insurance policy. Right, a, 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 and and that's a five-page PDF, and you're trying to get people to download it. You're running ads to capture leads and get people to download it. Right, they land on this page. This is your custom conversion. So again, back to over here. That's why the business manager is so so important because now we're able to really take it a step further and really 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 leverage and maximize these ads. We get to tell Facebook, hey man, no dude, the the the, the number one objective is not not to get them to click. No, because if they click, you're telling me, okay, that's my number one objective. If they click and that's all they do. So I clicked, I landed here. That's all you asked for, right? That's what's going to happen. So that's a traffic ad. A lot of people run traffic ads. That is a traffic ad with a traffic ad. As you come over here to the, to, to the, to the, um, to the ads manager and you go three lines and you hit, go back to the ads manager and you run that ad, you click the bling, the green button and you run that ad and you run traffic. Traffic is telling Facebook, Hey man, I'm just getting people to click. I'm just getting people to click. No dude. I don't need them just to click. I need them to fill out the damn form. I need the, I need them to land on the confirmation page. Because anybody that lands on the confirmation page, that's a lead, right? You can't land here by Googling it. You ain't going to find this page, right? You only get to it once someone opts in. So I'm able to take this link, give it to Facebook, call it a custom conversion. And so as I go and run my ad, I, I specifically link that custom conversion to that ad set. And, and now Facebook knows, hey, man, okay, David's not looking just to get people to click. He's not looking just to get people to the, to, to the landing page. He's trying to get people to the confirmation page. He's looking for leads. He's looking for sales. So anyone that were to set up a custom conversion, it, it really is these three main objectives. So if your main objective as a business owner is to, is to capture a lead, that's custom conversion. If your objective, so capturing a lead, getting someone to download your PDF, getting someone to register for a webinar 
right? Um, that's mainly what, what the, the top marketers put out is either a free webinar or, or they're giving away some free PDF, some ebook, right? Some free download, right? Or, okay, so that's number one. Number one, you're trying to get, you're trying to give me to download something. You're, 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 getting me, you're getting me to a webinar. You're capturing a lead, right? You're getting me to opt in for your listing. You're getting me to opt in for your open house. Your, 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 your objective is to capture lead to capture lead. That's number one. So if that's you, custom conversions. Number two, if you're in the business of making sales, you have a website, you sell products online. So physical products, right? You have a Shopify store, you have, you have any type of online, online um, 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 commerce website where you're selling products, necklaces, hats, hoodies, microphones, cell phone cases, whatever, right? And you're, and, and you're trying to, you're trying to drive traffic to, to, to make sales, that's custom conversion. That's number two. Number three, it's appointments. So if, you're, if your main objective is to run ads to get people to schedule appointments with you, right? Custom conversion. Again, it's something what you it's something you couldn't you couldn't access with just your ads manager. That's why the business manager is so, so, so powerful. Okay, so so now we now now we got that out the way. That's a custom conversion. Once you have landing pages, then you take the link of the confirmation page and you simply integrate it. You set up a custom conversion. I'll I'll, I'll tie that video down below as well. Um, how to create a custom conversion, um, and you can you can definitely learn through that as well. But you want to have your landing pages up. So profitwithcartridge.online, activate a fourteen day trial, and I'll help you with all the landing pages. It, it's the landing pages, the email autom automation, and your online calendar, and then all these other you know bells and whistles. But really if you're again if you're driving traffic online it's mainly those three tools okay so that's all in Kartra so and then also um yeah there's the domain so you would integrate the domain get a domain through GoDaddy very very simple what you can do is just go into um go into incognito window so just click right here go into new incognito window go to Google and type in cheap domains cheap domains oh shit I can't even spell dude Happy New Year's, New Year's, guys! And then, as you come into 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 um into incognito, what I'm looking for is I'm actually looking for GoDaddy, which which I'm pretty sure on your end. I've done it a million and one times, so maybe GoDaddy's already flagging my ass. Um, but when you go cheap domains in incognito, go straight from Google, you'll see an ad up here at the top for 99 cents for GoDaddy. There's 299, which is still only 299, right? I'm just a cheap ass and I'm, I'm trying to get it as cheap as possible. So I always would hack it and, and, and get it for 99 cents. So what I always do is, is, is make sure whatever name you're trying to bring to the marketplace, go and get the .com, go and get the .com um, because you're gonna need that .com to tie to your landing pages and to integrate with Facebook. Okay. So whatever .com, whatever, you know, domain you want to use for your, for your ads, that's what you want to do there. And then you can do your payment method here as well. You can put your credit card in, but really I do the credit card through the ad account. Okay. So as I'm setting up the ad account, I do it through there. So now as, as we come up here to the top, click on the three lines. Now we go back to ads manager. So that's the business manager, you guys, that's the business manager. Um, I'll, I'll tie a bunch of videos in the, in, the, in the description on how to set up the custom audience, how to install the pixel, how to set up the custom conversion. I'll tie those three videos down at the bottom because that's really what's next. But again, to really, to really maximize those features, which are 1000% required, necessary, mandatory. You have to be, you, you know, utilizing those, 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 those features when you're scaling your ads. But before you even set all that up, you want to have your landing pages. So again, Profitwithcartridge.online. That link is in the description. Activate a 14-day trial, and I'll help you. I'll help you with all that. So, so now as I come to the ads manager, right now I have these two different accounts. Now I have the top one. Now I have the bottom one. And now I am ready to party. Now I'm ready to freaking crush it. Come in here, click on create, and then and then that's when we're gonna simply account info um, info needed. So this right here, the email was sent. So hopefully she she confirms that soon. That's why you want it once you once you put in that email, make sure you verify it right away. And then and then as you come over here and set up that ad. What you guys want to do, what you want to do is you want 99.999% of the time you want to be running conversion ads, okay? And that's, again, mainly for those of you that are looking to capture leads, um, make appointments, or make sales. If that's your number one objective with, with online advertising, then um, then that's for sure what you want to be doing, okay, you guys? So, um over now, that is your business manager. What I would do is I would bookmark it for sure. I would bookmark it from the business settings. So now as you come over here to business settings, you can bookmark it from over here. Um, and then you can just kind of 
um, have it here at the top and come straight into this part um, um, as you as you rock and roll. So in here again, you got you got your pages tied. You got the people. Make sure the people the, the names right there, and then you got pages right here. So there's there's the actual page. It's still it's still pending, which is fine. Um, and that we should have got access to that right or right away, but um, but that's okay. She'll actually, yeah, she'll see it on her end. That's fine. And then and then again, set up your ad account, set up your ad account, connect your Instagram account, the data sources. There's a pixel for your for your for your landing pages. Um, there's your custom conversions for your thank you pages, the confirmation pages in, in your funnel. Um, and then there's the brand safety to integrate the domain. I recommend getting the domain through GoDaddy. Um, and then down here, you can put your payment info here for sure. And then business info, make sure you update all of this information right here here. All right, you guys. So um, now actually, yeah. And then, and then, and then make sure you verify the email at the bottom. So that's it, you guys. That is a Facebook business manager in 2022 and beyond. So again, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. My name is David. I'm out here just documenting, dropping day in the life content of what I'm doing for either my business or, or other clients. And a lot of times that's, that's, that's real estate agents setting up Facebook ads for the first time, setting up landing pages and sales funnels for the first time, and really trying to scale their business online. So if that's you, if you're, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the bell for notifications and drop me a comment below. Let me know where you guys are coming. Coming from and let me know how I can bring value to what you got going on. All right, you guys, over now.